Well, we turn now to the latest on Tropical Storm Debbie. The storm is churning slowly over Georgia and South Carolina. It has dumped as much as 30 inches of water in some areas of Florida and has left at least four people dead. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the latest. A days long weather threat is unfolding right now for millions of people in the southeast. What's left of Hurricane Debbie is dumping historic amounts of rain up to 30 inches possible in some areas. The storm is expected to crawl across South Georgia, then stall off South Carolina. Charleston could get more than 20 inches of rain. It may be that this is the most water we've seen for a long time. Maybe. We don't know. So stay alert, stay tuned, and stay safe. South of Charleston, a reported tornado overnight damaging property in Odesto Beach. In Georgia, the mayor of Savannah issued a curfew, warning the deluge could mean, quote, obliteration for parts of the city. This type of rain hovering over us, coming with the intensity that they tell us that it's coming, uh, it's going to catch a whole lot of people by surprise. Debbie made landfall along the Gulf Coast of Florida as a Category 1 hurricane, leaving streets underwater and homes without power. More than a foot of rain fell in the Sarasota area, authorities rescuing hundreds of people from flooded neighborhoods. You can see members of the Florida National Guard in high water rescue vehicles going into neighborhoods like this that are flooded to rescue homeowners. Debbie is blamed for at least four deaths in Florida, including the driver of this truck near Tampa. Police say he lost control of his tractor trailer, the truck's cab then plunging into the water below. Meanwhile, one boater is telling his survival story. It's a washing machine, basically, is what it is in the Gulf. Nathan Thomas and his friend were rescued off Florida's Gulf Coast in 20-foot waves. He says the storm came quicker than expected, and they lost the sail on their sailboat. I knew that if the Coast Guard didn't get us, we probably had less than a 50% chance of surviving. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.